May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. August 12, 2024 Optional Memorial of St. Jane Francis de Chantal, Religious A reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim, the word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and the hand of the Lord was on him there. As I looked, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually, and in the middle of the fire, something like gleaming amber. In the middle of it was something like four living creatures. This was their appearance, they were of human form. When they moved, I heard the sound of their wings like the sound of mighty waters, like the thunder of the Almighty, a sound of tumult like the sound of an army, when they stopped, they let down their wings. And there came a voice from above the dome over their heads, when they stopped, they let down their wings. And above the dome over their heads there was something like a throne, in appearance like sapphire, and seated above the likeness of a throne was something that seemed like a human form. Upwards from what appeared like the loins I saw something like gleaming amber, something that looked like fire enclosed all around, and downward from what looked like the loins I saw something that looked like fire, and there was a splendor all around. Like the bow in a cloud on a rainy day, such was the appearance of the splendor all around. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels, praise Him, all His host. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his glory is above earth and heaven. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. He has raised up a horn for his people, praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised. And they were greatly distressed. When they reached Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, Yes, he does. And when he came home, Jesus spoke of it first, asking, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their children or from others? When Peter said, From others, Jesus said to him, then the children are free. However, so that we do not give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook, take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth, you will find a coin, take that and give it to them for you and me. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection Prior to this minor miracle, Jesus had just told his disciples for the second time about his coming passion. Again, this was difficult for them to hear. Recall that after the first prediction of Jesus' coming passion and death, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up the mountain and was transfigured before them. The transfiguration was meant, in part, 
to dispel the fear of the disciples and to give them hope for that which was to come. And now, after Jesus' second prediction of his passion, another miracle was performed for Peter, personally, to help encourage him and give him hope. Imagine if you were Peter. Imagine following through with Jesus' instructions by going to the sea, dropping in a hook, pulling out a fish and then opening its mouth. Peter must have been filled with hope and excitement as he pulled this fish in, wondering if Jesus' words would come true. And as soon as Peter saw the coin, just as Jesus said, he must have been in awe. Slowly, the fear and anxiety he was experiencing at this second prediction of Jesus' passion and death would have begun to subside as Peter witnessed yet another incredible sign from his Lord. God performs miracles in our lives every day. The problem is that we often fail to discern them. Any time his glorious power works within us to strengthen us or fills us with courage, hope, charity, and every other virtue, this is a miracle of transforming grace. God always knows what we need in life. He knows our struggles and doubts. At times, He is silent so as to draw us deeper through intentional prayer and acts of faith. And at times, we suddenly find that we receive a new clarity in life that is the result of His grace at work. Jesus knew that Peter needed this extra grace of this personal miracle so that he could move beyond his fears and struggles and place all of his trust in Jesus. Jesus was trustworthy. This is the conclusion Peter would have arrived at. He was trustworthy. Therefore, everything he said should be believed. What a wonderful conclusion for us all to arrive at. Reflect, today, upon the ways that God has assured you of his divine presence and action in your life. Though the assuring miracles God has performed in your life may not be physical in their manifestation, God's workings can be just as convincing if we clearly perceive them. What does God want to assure you of in your life? What struggle or doubt do you struggle with? If you struggle, Turn your mind to the ways that God has been present and active in your life. Ponder his intervention and the ways he has cared for you and led you. Be grateful and allow the memory of what God has done to be your strength today and the source of hope when you need it the most. Let us pray. My miraculous Lord, your action in my life is truly glorious and amazing. You never fail to provide for me when I am in need. Help me to turn to you whenever I struggle so as to be filled with new hope in you. You are always faithful, dear Lord. I do place all my hope in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.